Hello and welcome to this uh, video in which we will learn about converting binary numbers to decimal and decimal to binary. Now most of the time we deal in decimal numbers in our day to day life but computers as you know do not understand uh, uh, decimal they understand only binary. Now C does not have a mechanism to handle binary directly but you can write program to uh, deal with the binary. So <clears throat> how do you convert uh, a decimal number to binary? Well the mechanism is actually explained here how to convert this is if you do not have a, a reference for this you can read this I'm not sure I'm connected so you can google it and uh, uh, figure out how to convert decimal to binary what you do is you do recursive division uh, uh, when you convert from uh, decimal to binary by 2 and when you multiply it uh, you can convert it otherwise both decimal and binary are uh, positional number systems uh, it has got a very good treatment in Nuth's uh, second uh, volume book if I remember that is semi numerical programming you can refer to that a bit too heavy for uh, junior people though okay so we have three variables n remainder and bin and n we will store our decimal number remainder will store the remainder and bin will be used to store binary value so we take input of the number and we start with i is equal to 0 and while n does not become 1 we compute the remainder and then we say n is equal to n by 2 now what we do is remainder will be either 0 or 1 because we are dividing by 2 so it's like a modulus so we uh, take the remainder and uh, we multiply that with 10 because binaries will have only 1 and 0 so we raise it to the power of 10 the reason is the bin is still dec decimal C does not understand binary so to represent we have only 1s and zeros. that's why we are raising it uh, with power i and base 10 and then we increment i so suppose your number entered is 1 so this loop will not enter and you will have i as 0 so bin will become uh, 1 now suppose you enter 10 so n is not 1 it will go inside rather n is 2 so binary should be 10 so it goes inside remainder would be 0 because 2 percentage 2 is 0 so n will become here 1 and then bin plus will be 0 multiplied by 10 to the power 0 so that will be 0 and then I will increase to 1 now n is 1 here so this will not actually execute and then it will come here now 1 multiplied by 10 to the power 1 because i has increased to 1 so bin will become 10 so it's that simple now we have our uh, and this will go on till n does not become 1 at, at the end there will be 1 that is guaranteed so we print bin and then we have decimal uh, var uh, variable dec and we reset i to 0 and then we say bin is not equal to 1 while bin is not equal to 1 and we reverse the process and now we have our power base base of power function as 2 and we divide now by 10 rather than we uh, we dividing by uh, uh, 2 so and at the end we will have one remaining and then we do that so let's see let's run this like bin take a number 2 so it becomes 10 so it is converted to binary and then it is converted back to decimal let's take some bigger numbers let's start in sequence 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so you see it works so look at this piece of code and try to understand how actually the functionality has been implemented and if you do not understand uh, try to post a comment to the video and I'll try to explain it there thanks for watching this one in next part we will add two binary numbers and we will uh, represent the sum in binary again thanks for watching the video
enjoy a good programming. <laughs>